Hey, this is Mehdi with Fullstack Library, and in this video, we'll use Justify Content Flex Container property in order to distribute space between and around content items. We have a list of items distributed horizontally. Then, to distribute space between and around the flex items along this main axis right here, we'll need to use the property Justify Content. Let's just start with the first value of the justify content property. We'll go for flex start, which will pack the items toward the start of the main axis. Then we'll move to flex end, which do the opposite. And we have here a packet flex items toward the end of the main axis or main end. And to pack the flex items toward the center of the main axis, we'll use sender where the items are placed flush with each other and aligned in the center. So in this case, we'll have an equal amount of space between the main start edge and the first item and the main end edge and the last item. Okay, how this space is calculated. So the first thing to do, let's just first comment out this code right here. And I need this flexbox parent size. And I have here 600 pixel. And to check that, you see that I have 600 pixels. Okay, let's just write that. Okay, I'll remove that. I have 600 pixels. And this is the flex box parent. Okay, let's just go flex parent. Okay, 600 pixels is the size of the flexbox parent. And what about the flex items? Because here I, I'm just trying to calculate this free space right here before I do some other calculation. Okay, now the flex part of the flex items are 90 pixels each one. So I have 90 here and 90 here. Okay, let's just use another color. 90 here and 90, 90 for each items, which means that 90 times four, 19 times four, which gives us 360 pixels. And this is the flex items. Okay, flex items. So we have 600 pixels, we have 600 pixels, and we have 360 pixels of the flex items. So we need to subtract this, this 316 from 600. So for that, we'll do 600 minus 360, 600, uh, 600 minus 360, so we had 240. And this is the total. Let's just pick another color, 240. And this weight space, or this, this space here, this blank space right here is 240. That need to be separated, or that needs to be used in each bar and once, okay, let's just uncomment the code right here, how the 240 pixels needs to be used. So in this case, just you will divide this number by two. So 240 and means to be divided by two, which gives us 100, 120 on each part. So in this case, we will have, okay, let's just remove all of that and we will have 120 and 120 at each part. And this is how we center the flex items within a flex box, within the flex container. So we'll do a simple calculation. We calculate the left space, then we divide it by two. Now let's just move to another value right here and we'll go for space around with only one R. Okay, how to calculate this space? What the space around do exactly? It's just distribute the items evenly in the middle right here and the space between how we calculate it. So the first thing to do is we need to calculate the space between. So the first thing that you already know that we have a 240 of left space. So if you remember, and if I just comment out that, this space right here is 240. Okay, let's just uncomment that. And this 240 pixels is the blank space. Okay, let's just go is the blank space. Now, sorry, the blank space. To calculate the space around, the first thing to do is I need to take this, okay, let's just calculate space around. And for that, 
we need to divide this blank space right here, 240, by the number of items. How many items we have? One, two, three, and four. And for that, I will do four, and which means that will be equal to 16 pixels. Okay, we'll have here 16 pixels, 60 pixels, and 60 pixels. So we'll have six pixels, 60 pixels uh, each. So this is the space around. And how to calculate this, this space right here? So the space right here is half the size of the spacing between flex items. And for that, to calculate space at each age. How to calculate that? So for that, we'll go for the space right here, 60 divided by two because the half and we'll have 30. So 30 at each edge, 30 and 30. And if we add up that 30 plus 60, so it will be 90, 90 plus 60 is 150, and 150 plus 60 is 210, and 210 plus 30 is 240. And we will have this 240 right here, because this is how it's distributed between the items and around them. And this is what space around do exactly. Okay, now let's just move to another value, which is space between. Okay, what does space between do exactly? But first, let's just add a main axis. So we have here the main axis. This is, sorry, the main axis. And the main axis at the start and an end. What does space between do exactly is, the for the first item will be flush at the start of the main axis. And the last item will flush into the end of the main axis. So this is how it's distributed. And the free space, which in our case is 240, will be divided by the number of items. We have four items minus one. So in this case, it will be three. The number of items, the number of items minus one. The number of items is four minus one equal to three. So this is why you take this free space. This is the free space. So we take the free space, free space. Then we divide it by this number right here. But okay, which end up equal 240 divided by three will be 80 pixels. We have 80 pixels that should be distributed. And this is how we, we calculate this free space right here. Just need to reuse it. And we'll have 80 here and 80 and 80. And to calculate that, so you can 80 plus 80 plus 80 is 240 or 80 times three is 240. And this is how we calculate the space between. And for the last one, it's a little bit easier. Okay, let's just go for space evenly. Okay, what space evenly do exactly? It's just distribute the items evenly. As you see, we have the same space right here. And how to calculate that? We'll have a left space of 240 pixels. We'll divide the number by the number of items plus one. Okay, and we'll have 240. We have four items divided by four, which is the number of items plus one is five. Okay, 240 divided by five, 240 divided by five, which gives us 48. 48 is the space that needs to be used because it is the same. So we'll have at each part right here, 48 and 48, 48, 48, and 48. And if we do the calculation right here, 48 times five, which gives us 240. And in our case, 240 is the left is the left over space of the free space. And this is what we have here. 48 pixels distributed evenly. We have the same space at each space around. We have the same one, 48. And if we do that 48 times five, so we'll end up with 240 pixels, which is the free space. And to summarize all of that, so this justify content is just distributing the free space, but it depends on the results you wanna achieve. I'm just here showing you how the free space is distributed or how each value of justify content calculates the distributed space.